once everything is in the row, now you have to ask yourself, is your content in line with what your channel is about? Because not only is YouTube going to check your keywords in your description and in your title just to start the arc algorithm but is your whole channel based upon what 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 you talk about in your subject because that way they can go ahead and load up the next video on your channel or the algorithm got to find another trendy subject that's on the same line as what the person was just viewing on your on your channel. So if you got more content of what you're talking about on your channel, of course, the algorithm is gonna catch you in your name and the next subject that you're talking about and it's gonna throw it, throw it right back out there and put you right back on there if the person would like to view you again. Well, they think that your subject is on topic, they're going to click it again. So now the part where I'm at is I have to work on my creativity and learn how to give punch lines and get my storyline straight as I'm talking to you guys and definitely try to make y'all laugh, you know what I mean? So I ain't get to that part. I guess I'm still kind of nervous and camera shy, but who knows, in a couple months, I might have that all out my system, you know what I mean? Finding the algorithm on YouTube can be a pain because some of the trendy subjects and keywords are saturated. So you have to be mindful of the content, the quality, and what everything that you're talking is in line with the keywords, the description and title. And what best fits in the category that you're in. And also you have to keep in mind that people also have to click and watch your video content for a certain amount of time. And once you get the hang of that and you can fulfill that regimen, then the algorithm is gonna begin to take over and put you first. But first you have to practice and make sure that your content and everything is all in a row. Finding your YouTube algorithm is basically like finding the clues or strands in your DNA. So instead of saying YouTube algorithm, I'm gonna just, now on we gonna call it the YouTube DNA. As far as the YouTube DNA, you will want to find your own personal rhythm and how you deal with your crowd and what you're talking about, if they like it, you know. Me personally, I keep it on the same subject of what I'm talking about and make my channel about that. So if they ever come in and look on it, they'll find the same content. I think if you're starting off your channel and you're gonna talk about a topic in my ex personal experience from my YouTube channel is that you want to stay on the same line of what you've been talking about. And that's the algorithm that you want to catch. Because if you're talking about the same subject and you want to be noticed, you're going to have to talk about the same subject. You're going to have to be repetitive sometimes in your speeches and the newcomers that's, that's curious about how do they create their own channel and become a YouTube creator. And hopefully I, I'm taking a little bit of headache off of you and 
letting you catch an algorithm that you decide what topic that you're going to talk about. And my opinion personally, it's not about the, um, the quality of your video. I think it's the quality of your audio when you're speaking to your audience so they can understand what you're saying. Um, I think audio, I think good quality audio is the best video because you know, it's some people that recorded with their iPhones that was kind of crappy and they still made millions of views. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I believe it's about the what you're speaking about at that particular moment that uh, seep you right through the cracks. I mean, it's just like an invention. You know, you gotta you gotta create, keep creating, gotta be creative. You know what I mean? Like I said, I think that cre being creative is in my DNA. So I'm gonna try to figure the algorithm out like Mr. Beast did. <laughs> I might not be so successful, but if I aim towards what he doing, I wonder where I'll land at. And as far as the lighting system in your um in your videos that you want to post, free lighting is the best lighting that you can get. I say record in the daytime by a window. That way the window can provide that natural light that you need. Um, my first videos, I didn't, I didn't think of that. I didn't think about opening in the shades, sitting by the window when it, on a sunny day and recording without having to have all these bright expensive lights, depending on what kind of lights you got. Mine's are battery LED lights. Hopefully my videos look way better. Plus I have a microphone now, so you know you wanna invest in a microphone and a good lighting system. For not, right now I chose the um, cheap way I spent like $50 for the light and the microphone. And I'm satisfied with it. Hopefully y'all and let me know if my videos are better. Drop a like. And for the new subscribers, welcome aboard.